solve the following equations. Exercise A, we have the square root of 2x plus 7 is equal to 3 plus the square root of x minus 5. So what I'll do here is, uh, notice we have one of the square roots isolated, so I will square both sides of the equation. Now we have to be careful because on the right hand side I'm squaring a binomial. So we need to remember generally if we have a plus b squared, that's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So recall if you square a binomial, we get that pattern. Left hand side I have the square root of 2x plus 7 squared, that's just 2x plus 7. On the right hand side I would have a squared, so that's 3 squared which is 9, plus 2ab, 2 times 3 times the square root of x minus 5, so 6 times the square root of x minus 5. And then I have b squared, and so that's the square root of x minus 5 squared. So maybe it would be helpful to think of it that way. We have a 3 squared, um, a 2 times 3 times the square root of x minus 5, and then plus the square root of x minus 5 squared, and then simplify it. So we now have 2x plus 7 is equal to 9 plus 6 times the square root of x minus 5 plus the square root of x minus 5 squared is x minus 5. So now notice we still have a square root in this equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, sim I'm going to isolate the term that still contains the square root. I'm going to isolate that term. So let me subtract the 9, subtract the x, and add the 5 to both sides. Subtract 9, subtract x, and add 5 to both sides. So that would give me x, let's see, 7 minus 9 is negative 2, plus 5 is plus 3. So x plus 3 is equal to 6 times the square root of x minus 5. And now I will again square both sides. Now I have to be careful here on the right hand side. Left hand side, again I'm going to multiply that binomial out. That's an a plus b squared. So x plus 3 squared is x squared plus 6x plus 9. On the right hand side I have 6 squared times x minus the square root of x minus 5 squared. And so that's x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 36 times x minus 5. So x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 36x minus 180. Bringing everything to the left by subtracting 36x and adding, and adding 180, x squared minus 30x plus 189 is equal to 0. Now, this does factor as x minus 9 by x minus 21, which implies that x minus 9 equals 0, or x minus 21 equals 0. So then x equals 9, or x equals 21. Now we want to check these to verify that they are solutions. So checking 9, the left hand side of the original equation would give me, through substitution, I'd have the square root of 25 on the left hand side, and let's see, I'd have 3 plus the square root of 4, um, and so 5 equals 5, so that checks out. x equals 9 is a solution. Let's check x equals 21. 
2 times 21 is 42 plus 7. I'd have the square root of 49 on the left. And on the right, I'd have 3 plus the square root of 21 minus 5 is square root of 16. So 7 equals 3 plus 4. 7 equals 7. So x equals 21 is also a solution of the equation. All right, exercise b. Let's follow a similar process. First thing I'll do is square both sides of the equation. So that would give me 5x plus 4 is equal to 16 a squared plus 2ab plus 8 times the square root of 3x minus 2 plus 3x minus 2 squared is 3x minus 2. Simplifying by, so I want to isolate the radical term, and I'll do that by subtracting the 3x, subtracting the 16, adding the 2 on both sides, yielding 2x minus 10 is equal to 8 by the square root of 3x minus 2. Again, square both sides since there's still a radical. Yielding 4x squared minus 40x plus 100 is equal to 64 by 3x minus 2. So 4x squared minus 40x plus 100 is equal to 192x minus 128. I'll subtract 192x from both sides. And I will add 128 to both sides. Yielding 4x squared minus 232x plus 228 is 0. I have a common factor of 4, so let me factor out that 4. 4 by x squared, and I'll see 232, uh, take out a factor of 4, is 58, so minus 58x. 228, take out a factor of 4, it leaves 57. Uh, let's see, that trinomial um, factors as x minus 1 by x minus 57. Now 4 cannot equal 0, so that's not a solution. x minus 1 can equal 0 if x equals 1. And x minus 57 can equal 0 if x equals 57. Let's check these solutions. If x equals 1, on the left-hand side, I'd have the square root of 5 times 1 is 5, plus not 4 is 9. I'd have the square root of 9 on the left. On the right, I'd have 4 plus the square root of 3 times 1 is 3, minus 2 is 1. So square root of 9 is 3, and 4 plus 1 is 5. 9, is, uh, so that is not true. And so x equals 1 is an extraneous solution of the equation. Let's check 57. So on the left-hand side, I'd have the square root of 5 times 57 plus 4. So that's the square root of 289, which is 13. On the right-hand side, I'd have 4 plus the square root of, let's see, 3 times 57 is 171 minus 2 is 169. And so that's 4 plus, I'm sorry, the square root of 13, I'm sorry, 289 is 17. The square root of 169 is 13, and 4 plus 13 is 17. And so x does equal 57. So there is only one solution of the equation at 57. x equals 1 is an extraneous solution.